So hear me out, right? The beginning of this vlog is literally just me showing you my favorite tree, but it's so cute and I just wanted to share with you guys because I love it and I feel like some of you guys will get it. It definitely doesn't translate on camera just how stunning it is in real life, but I hope you enjoy it nevertheless. This is something that brightens my day, so I thought it might do the same for some of you guys. As you can tell, the tree is Bronson approved as well. Anyway, just to let you guys know that you shouldn't be fooled by the first two days of this vlog because the third day is where it gets way more entertaining, but I did promise that I was gonna vlog every day, so you gotta watch the two days before that as well. <laughs> Today is going by so quickly, it's half three already and I feel like I've done nothing and I did want to allow myself that today but now I'm starting to feel guilty and I feel like I need to get stuff done. I didn't even tidy up yesterday because time just, I don't know what's happening. I'm going to do a quick tidy up upstairs because, well, it's necessary to be quite honest. Cleaning I think is like my new kink. And so I shut the cage door and I'm like, I got currently outside the vets. I'm a little bit annoyed to be honest. Bronson was due his vaccinations today and I think I booked this appointment like a couple of weeks ago. When I was on the phone with the receptionist, she said to me, okay, I'll send you a link via WhatsApp to pay the deposit, blah, 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 blah. I was like, cool, appointment's booked. See you on the 3rd of October. So I've come here at 9.30 in the morning, not to mention, I think he's ill as well. He's got a really, really snotty, runny nose. He's super lethargic. He started coughing this morning and it was like a proper cough. So I'm a little bit concerned, like he's not himself. So I was like, great, well, we're going for his vaccinations anyway. Like at least I'm taking him to the vets today and I can make sure everything's okay and that he's not super unwell. And if he needs antibiotics or whatever, I can get those for him. I get to the reception and they said my appointment's been canceled because I didn't pay the deposit. Let me tell you why I didn't pay the deposit. They never sent me the link, but they also didn't send me a notification to let me know that my appointment's been canceled, like nothing. And my number hasn't changed. My my number's been the same for like probably 10 years or more. And now she's telling me that they don't have another appointment for like a week. So I don't really know what to do. They said they would call me if they've got any cancellations. Otherwise they don't have another appointment until Tuesday the 8th. I won't be here. I just want to make sure that he's okay, especially before I leave. I don't want to leave him and he's not well. Hopefully they'll call back with a cancellation today. If not, I might try and figure out if I can take him somewhere else. I feel like he may have caught Coco's illness so you like that name don't you um my friend's dog who was unwell it will be okay a match in hand at the ready it's half six in the morning i received some gifting from vive which i'm so excited about they do my favorite lip liner ever i've tried a few things i've got an eyeshadow palette by them which is insane like the most beautiful eyeshadow palette jamie has just killed it let's just try it all out this morning why the hell not it's the weekend i want to have some fun i've already done my skincare surprisingly my skin's not that bad considering i'm probably going to start menstruating today my skin's somewhat done me proud eyebrows are done you'll be glad to know that i have grown them back out they are full thickness again i'm kind of loving it let's do this and have a bit of a chat so i think we're going to start with i've seen this all over the internet skin nova instant radiance primer skin loving ingredients with ultra fine pigments to give a golden hour glow to the skin so i'm not really a primer girly but i have a feeling that i'm going to love this i have already applied my skincare i don't know if that makes a difference i'm so excited Ooh, she's pretty i'm very aware that i'm already <laughs> super shiny Already the consistency is way nicer than any primer 
that I've used before. How are we feeling this October, guys? Yeah, I'm just wondering how you guys are doing. The first week of October has felt pretty productive for me. Yesterday, obviously, was a bit of a write-off with Bronson being ill. He's still asleep right now, bless him. Okay, this is beautiful. And it feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a silicone tacky primer. It feels like skincare. And that is what I love in makeup, for it to feel natural, for it to be very skincare based. I was gonna leave the foundation out, but I do have a few blemishes and I do wanna film today. So I'm just gonna apply my normal foundation, which at the moment is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. They sent me this and I can't put anything else on my face. NARS, I think, have always been like my favorite for especially base makeup, but I think in general, their makeup is just outstanding. Like, I love NARS. I'm a, I'm a NARS fan. I was gonna say I'm a narcissist, but if you get it, you get it. So yeah, anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope October's treating you well. I thought I would answer a few questions on here whilst I do this because basically I've had a few comments across my social media, quite a few, asking <laughs> if I've had more work done to my face. I had a specific question asking if I had had like work done to my eyelids. I have not had anything. I've not touched my face since everything happened with my nose. So basically for the whole year, just recently, maybe three weeks, a month ago, I just had a Botox top up so my brows probably look a little bit lifted and obviously I've got no wrinkles. I can still move my brows slightly. I just wanted to do something that would make me feel a bit better because obviously it's been a little bit rough. I didn't get my jaw done which I've been doing for years because obviously I grind my teeth a lot at night but quite frankly my bank account just cannot deal with the consequences of me doing that right now and also it does slim your face and I know it does that but that's not really something that I want anymore especially as I get older I feel like having a fuller face makes you look more youthful like I feel like I looked really sunken and stuff and for that reason as well I wanted to stop although it really helped with the grinding I think I'm gonna have to try and find another solution because Guys, how stunning is that foundation, by the way? And the color match. Like, all I see is skin. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find another solution because I prefer my face and it looks a little fuller. The modern bronzer. I love the packaging, like everything is stunning. My skin looks so natural and moisturized and dewy. That primer, I think I'm a primer girl now. Bronzing duo in medium one and medium two. I'm not sure if these are gonna be dark enough for me. I'm gonna mix them together and let's just give it a go. Oh, wait, no, I tell a lie. I'm actually speechless. They look so deceivingly pale in the palette. And the fact that it just goes on like that without going blotchy over liquid makeup. No, Viv, stop playing with me because this is ridiculous. Do you know how long I've gone without wearing bronzer because I've not been able to find something like this? I'll take 14. So going back to what I was saying, I'm just gonna put on a bit of my concealer. I definitely think there's another solution because I saw that Jamie's dentist gave her a very specific type of, kind of like a retainer, gum shield thing. And I think that that could also be the solution for me. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get something like that because quite frankly, I prefer the way my face looks now. And obviously it saved me a lot of money, it's more natural. So it would be great if I could find another solution to the grinding. Even if it doesn't completely eliminate it, just to make it less intense would be fantastic. So we're just getting help from Jamie all round today. <laughs> I also had some questions asking if I had had my revision surgery, which is kind of flattering to be honest, because obviously I was really unhappy with the way my nose was left after the infection. All I'm gonna say right now is I've not had anything else done to my nose. No, I can't get over this makeup, it is actually insane. Jamie! <gasps> Jamie, 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 this is unbelievable. I'm not gonna lie, I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer and sometimes the concealer just gets a little cakey, but with that primer underneath, girl. Next we're gonna go in with the Vive Sunset Blush Balm. I really am obsessed with the packaging. I think I might have a new favorite makeup brand. Wow. <gasps> All of this so far is phenomenal. Like I wanna try everything. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna go in with a little bit cause it, I don't know how pigmented it is. Are you kidding me? What? The woman was too stunned to speak. 
you know what? I feel like Jamie has really kept all different skin tones in mind when creating her brand and the makeup. Listen, I only needed a tiny bit. I still got so much of it left out of this world, truly. I recently started using the YSL all hours hyper finish translucent compact powder. I'm also not a powder girly, but I also feel like as I've been aging or as I've been getting older, I can't have like a proper dewy face all over because I guess like the contours of my face just don't work with it anymore. But this powder sets everything in place as you'll be able to see. But there's just zero cakiness. So natural, but does everything that you need it to do. I was gifted this, but I will be repurchasing. The cheaper alternative would be the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Universal, but I do think I prefer this, I'm not gonna lie. I want in hazelnut. Ooh, okay. Pretty. Uh, stop it. Oh yes. Do you know what? This with a bit of like a smoky, Black liner. Wow. I feel like this would make a nice. Yup. Okay, but we're not gonna do that because I have my lip liner. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath as well. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a bit of mascara. Just the top lashes today. Just the top lashes. My favorite part. I literally had about this much left of my other one. I'll see if I can find it in a sec. Bronson decided to chew whatever was left of it and I couldn't sharpen it because it was so bent out of shape. So I'm very happy to have this back. It just gives my lips the best lip line color ever. Super natural. It gives very much that like 90s kind of lip line. I think especially if you're paler than I am. The formula is gorgeous. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy to the point that it's just gonna go everywhere, but it glides on really nicely. And I would usually use a lip tint, but I just wanna see how everything looks kind of on its own. So I'm so happy to have this back in my roster. Last but not least, I've been sent two lip oils. Ooh, yeah, I already know which one. One in original. I believe I have this one already. Yes. So actually, oh, I'm so sorry. I've just ripped the thingy, but you can see I've not used it. I've got this one already. So I will gift this to anyone who doesn't mind that I've ripped the top. I'm so sorry. If you want this, let me know and I'll pick one of you. We've got the shade Cherry. I already know I love it. Stop it. Yep. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This literally looks like my lip tint. It feels so good. Jamie, you really did that girl. I'm gonna sort my hair out and I'll be back so we can get the full effect. Okay, so you're probably wondering where my fringe is, right? Well, I have another secret to tell you guys. Her name's Fringesca <laughs> and she is a clip-in fringe and a new addition. We love her. Right, I do actually need to sort her out though. <laughs> One last thing, this Victoria Beckham highlighter. Girl. Mm-hmm. I'm at the storage unit. It's definitely been a while since we've been here, hasn't it? It's so much emptier than I remember. The reason that I'm here today is to collect. Oh, perfect. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find it easily. I wanted to come collect the Halloween stuff so we could decorate together. It definitely won't be anything near as crazy as last year, but I still wanted to do a little something something because I bloody love Halloween and I can't not, so. Oh God, it's so difficult to move these or turn them. I also wanted to make sure that I cleared out the flat as much as possible before I go away. So when I come back, it's just nice because the flat's been kind of messy for a while and I'm just over it. And now that I have a car as well, which I don't even think I've mentioned. Oh, there's cleaning, there's so much stuff in here that needs to go and then I can downsize because I'm spending far too much money on this. What was I saying? It feels really good to be able to do this by myself now because I've just got like my independence back and it feels amazing. Independent woman. <sighs> Guys, there's so much in here that I want to bring home, but I just don't have a place for it. Like my studio recording stuff. I think we're gonna revisit and bring some of this stuff home. The stuff that I'm putting in here right now, a lot of it is just summer stuff, but quite a bit of it is also stuff that I'm either gonna give away or sell, but I just need to clear the flat right now. When I come back, I'll take bits at a time and I'll either be uploading to Vinted or Depop. I did wanna do it before, but I'm not gonna have time. So I thought realistically, it's better for me to bring it here and then I can do it bit by bit when I get back. Oh, my piano's here, my electric piano. Oh, I can't wait to be able to play that again. Clothes, I've got cameras to sell, so much. Let me know what you would like to see first. Also like shoes, trainers, you guys know I have a ridiculous amount of trainers. I'll also be selling like a couple of designer bits as well. For now, I'm just gonna get my Halloween bits 
Yeah. Ooh. Ow, that was a close call. Ooh, wait. Might as well bring this home because there are other ones absolutely fucked. Let's go. This camera is so light that it, I forget and it's so easy to drop it, but I need to be careful. The last thing I need is to break it right now, okay? That ass come through. Cue lift music. How about this? Got myself a little car mount. So on what day am I going? But I don't even know what day it is I'm leaving. We can have a proper catch up on Tuesday when I head down to London. I'm so happy about it. This is such a vibe. It kind of works perfectly with my car because I have somewhere to stick it to on the dashboard. So that's amazing. I'm gonna head to Marks and Spencer's quickly because I have become obsessed with some of their cleaning stuff. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and maybe a tiny bit of food and some dog treats because they do really good dog treats for cheap. Not all of them though. How exciting is this? This is awesome. This is actually perfect. I feel like I should become like a driving instructor now. You know, the ones that film their um, their lessons. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Fun fact, my dad was actually a driving instructor for AA. That's how him and my mum met. It's literally 25 past two. Like, why does everything take me so long? Like, I'm running way behind schedule. I had so many things I wanted to do. But I feel like when I get caught up in something or when I start something I either start a million other things or I hyper fixate and that's kind of what happened like I just started packing all the stuff that I wanted to take to storage and that's fine because I'll be really really grateful that I've done that when I get back I feel like I'm rambling sorry I'm so hungry guys look at this building I love this building so much you see it's got like plants all around it I want to live there I don't even think it's an apartment building, but I'm literally, I'm looking at B&M and the feminine urge to go in there right now is real. But I need to remember that I fucking don't need anything. I don't need anything. Everything I have is already mine. Everything I want, I already have. Everything I need, I already have, not want. I don't need it. Maybe when I get back, we'll go and have a look. But right now, I don't need anything. Oh, and there's TK Maxx as well. Anyway, we're here. I'm just turning into the car park now. One good thing about living in Manchester, I will say, is that everything is so close, especially when you drive. Also, there's an Oxfam outlet here, which is pretty cool. A superstore, not an outlet, sorry. I need to visit that at some point, so maybe we'll come back and do that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Oh, tell me there's a parking spot for me. Please. I'm too lazy, I don't want to walk. Oh no, absolutely not actually. No way I'm parking my car. By the trolleys. All right, I'll have to walk a little bit, it don't matter. Don't matter, does it? Don't matter. It really don't, that'll do. Right. I always forget my light. Oh guys, I wanna buy these as well. My favorite section. Please don't sell this out, but this, jasmine and green tea. The sandalwood and bergamot's really nice as well. And if you're a fan of Zoflora, you'll love this as well. And this is really nice as well. This is mainly what I came for. I'm in my cleaning era and I'm kind of here for it. These are the dog treats. Just these two though. I don't think the rest of them are too good. These and these, and they're two pound a pot. I treated myself to a well-deserved pain I was about to take my shoes off. I'm getting far too comfortable. <laughs> I have not eaten anything today. And if there's anything that we know about m and their bake room is unmatched. Mm. And one thing about me is if I'm going to get a treat, it's going to be a pain chocolat. I'm so tempted to go into Lidl. They have the best elderflower cordial. It literally tastes like the cordial that I made at home that year when I picked elderflower and literally made the cordial from scratch. And it's so cheap. I love a little M&S trip. But why is it that when you come out, it's so much more expensive than you think it's going to be? Also, I've been obsessed with their figs. I'm, I might as well go to Lidl. It's literally just across the road. But the problem is, it's right next to B&M. There's this thing called Free Will and another thing called Self Control. And I have both. Panic. I think I've left my phone in the car. Yep. 
not only is that my lifeline, it's also my only method of paying. Like, what am I doing? I came for one thing and one thing only, and we've secured the cordial. Guys, I did it. I resisted temptation. Are we proud of me? I'm proud of me. I guess that's all that matters, right? I'm in one of those moods where I don't know what I want to listen to. Honestly, if you heard my playlist, it literally goes from like drum and bass to classical to jazz, screamo to indie to neo soul to like basically everything. It's just silly, <laughs> but I kind of love it. Al Robert! Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to go home now. Oh God, this car park's really... Honestly, the roads in Manchester and the car park systems and the way they've done it, I'm like, who did this? It's so unorganized and just shocking. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Like, I'm just guessing at this point. This is the song directly afterwards. Mm. Love it. I'm gonna try and learn this when I have my piano back at home. 100%. I'll leave the names to the songs down below if you guys are interested, by the way. Oh, we are back home. I've defo done my back in carrying all that stuff upstairs. But it's fine, it's all worth it. Right, I need to figure out, I think I know where I'm gonna put these already, but I'm gonna put them up here for now because otherwise Bronson's gonna destroy. A lot of people have never seen a fig before and don't know what it is. Look at that. Mm. I got some sourdough, obviously. This parmesan, because I want to make some pesto today. I don't know if I'm going to have time, but I would like to. A little mini of the large disinfectant spray. Hello. Hi, is that Natasha? Hiya, how are you? Hiya, is the pharmacy swinging? Bye. 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 Well, I might as well tell you guys now. I've had to go back on antidepressants. I've gone back on sertraline. I don't want to say it in a way that's like, oh, she's on antidepressants. Like, no, they have literally saved me this year. Like, they've made me able to function and feel almost like myself again. And I'm proud that I made that decision for myself because it was honestly needed and I feel like I should have done it a long time ago. I had to get the Kievs before going. I had to do it. Like, it was necessary. I've got a multi-surface cleaner here. This is almond and sweet orange. Smells delish. And I decided to get the bathroom surface cleaner spray. It's coastal eucalyptus and sage. I don't even know if I'm going to have lunch now, you know, because it is. It's 10 to 4. Like, there's no point. I might as well just have an early dinner and call it that, right? Mix of experience. Both victims were struggling with substanceable alcohols that would often 40, 50 say from this being gang related. For instance, the Coke Python Rover is a fairly. This is my. is just so worth it hello you can't have none sorry mm, too good hi i'm so sad guys i was gonna watch more of um new amsterdam but it turns out i finished it on the like biggest cliffhanger ever do you know what i might actually just have to re-watch it i think that that is now my new comfort show cheers just so she can get by while she tried to narrow I can't stop. I was craving something sweet. I was craving more carbs. I think it is my period. I'm just craving it all. I've got a hot water bottle on. It's not even that cold. Like, I don't know what's going on with me today. I guess I've just come to accept that hot water bottle season has arrived. But yeah, I was craving carbs and something sweet. I think also to cancel out the garlic from that pesto because it was good, but I defo have dragon breath right now. <laughs> so I'm having some toast with my mum's homemade marmalade on it. 
Anyone that suffers with PMDD will know what I'm talking about right now. I know I've done a few bits today, but I've not done much and I feel absolutely exhausted. I don't even think it's nine o'clock yet. I just want to sleep. Even yesterday, I fell asleep on the sofa at like 6.30. I didn't even vlog anything yesterday because the day went so quickly and I just felt exhausted. Obviously as well, I was like just keeping an eye on Bronson and there wasn't really much for me to vlog. God, I feel like a potato right now. Really overstimulated. Francesca's pissing me off right now. I'm gonna wash my face, get in my pajamas and get into bed and read. Like that's all I wanna do right now. Love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Ciao. Mwah.